train in the mornings from about 10 till 3. That is a combination of jumping on trampolines and then the strength and conditioning. I'd say my max height is about 30 feet. It truly feels like you're flying. It's the closest thing. There's a cross in the middle of the trampoline that we always keep our eyes on and if you lose that, you're in trouble. <laughs> well, I guess you kind of have to figure out like which angles work the best on certain takeoffs to get you the highest and which ones make you rotate the fastest. Like on vault, you have to hit the table a certain way and at a certain angle, so you kind of need to go over and over and over again to get it perfect. You think about the beam, it's four inches wide, it's like thinner than the sidewalk curb. You know, if your timing's a little bit off, you can wipe out or miss your hand when you're going for a double back. So it is like muscle memory to trust yourself and to think about the little corrections. In a trick, we initiate the flip with a power through our legs. We don't want any of the momentum to escape through our body, so we're as straight as possible. And then twisting, we initiate with our shoulders. If I start to travel amongst the trampoline, I might bend my knees a little bit more on the takeoff and send myself back or I'll push my hips forward. When you're doing a round off back handspring into a double back, what I think about is just keeping my elbows and my legs really straight. Because if you bend your elbows, then you'll kind of just collapse in your back handspring. And if you're really tight, then you'll be able to get more power. It's very, very small adjustments though, because the force of the trampoline is so great, you might end up on the ground. <laughs> but for the most part, we are pretty skilled at knowing where we are at all times. <laughs>